Look, you will see no lava, meaning it is safe. Let's enter. What's going on at the floor? It might be kind of too dark for you to see, but there's magma on the floor. Dried magma. This is an example of one of Savito's paintings. We'll see it in greater detail much later. And like a little bit here, actually. I believe if you move it at this point. Okay, first, here is Savidro's painting. There's Sirius and Akinar there. We're actually going to be viewing these ages and these paintings out of order. Um, this is actually the end. Here is Savidro and his children. There's one, I think, like, there's one down there, and there's one in diapers, I think, on Tamara's back. And this just shows the destruction of the trees in Narayan and people being killed. And there's Sirius and Akinar making their getaway. That's Savidro right there. Um, a far cry from his, uh, savage look now, isn't it? There's Tamara again. This is a more cartoony style. I like to think it's because he was more demented at this point, but, uh, perhaps, perhaps not. We actually have to go up one more level. Now, as you can see, the room is filled with lava! My precious! Sorry. Obligatory Lord of the Rings joke. Say, Jolteon, is it getting hot in here or is it just me? Mm hmm. Well, uh, you hear that sound? Flipping that switch turned on a fan, and that provides hot geothermal energy. This picture is about umpteen jillion times creepier when you look at it with the, uh, lava glowing, by the way. See? I'm team Jillian's times creepier, because it looks like Narayan is actually on fire. I always think that's why he put that one in the next Oh yeah, true. A true artist would use whatever mediums he had. And you may be worrying that the lava will burn us, but don't fear. Because as it lowers, the lava drains out. Don't be scared, Jolteon. When all this is said and done, I'll feed you a pokey block or something. Maybe like a berry. Or a puffin like they do in uh, diamond and pearl and platinum or whatever. Now, we don't want to mess with anything. Well, we actually do. We need to bring the lava back into the room. So it can pipe hot air. So. Oh no, do we have it on the wrong setting? I, I think I have it on the wrong setting. I am making too many mistakes tonight. We're actually almost just about done with this age. Uh, it's okay. We had a good run. Now we have glowing hot lava in there, and now the fan is pumping hot air. So now that we're done with that, we can leave from whence we came. And now we just have one more puzzle to do in Voltaic before we are at the end of our journey. And that is the steam puzzle, which Jolteon is so fond of, apparently. Yeah. I actually didn't really remember how much I liked it until replaying it recently, and I was like, oh, this puzzle is, like, the best puzzle in the game. <laughs> I don't know why. I just really liked doing it for some reason. I was personally was fond of the, um, puzzles in Amateria. We're probably gonna wind up going to Amateria next, guys, just so you know. Now, don't freeze. As you'll see, the uh, pressure is way too high. 
So, it can't move us in any direction. I think, yeah. So we have to release some, cover some pressure valves. Like this. Now you may think you may be able to move this one, but nope. Again, Savidro blocked it, so there is no oh, way. Sound this is pipe tank too. Mm-hmm. Like the squeaks. Yeah. Good. Here's the neck. Now that we have pressure going, we can finally push ourselves up to the next level. Yep. The elevator also works on steam. a couple up here. I forget how many valves specifically on each end you're supposed to close, but... We need to get up to the top, so... The background music to this area has some really strange sound. Oh Not yeah, definitely. Area. like exactly how many you're supposed to leave open and whatever on each of the valves. I, I'm not sure if it's accurate, but I think I have it written down. I think you're supposed to leave all of them on the top open, right? Uh, three on the top. The very top level. Okay. That's right, three on the very top. And then you and go down. Middle level two. Oh, that's right. That's right. And then, don't we need to have all of them open on the bottom level? All the ones that you can open. Yeah, all the ones that you can That's right. Thank you for reminding me, Jolteon. I don't know what I would do without you. You are welcome. Don't let that go to your head now. Now, as you can see, this gauge is going up as we go. And our object is to get it to that uh, blue line, that reddish line in the blue right there. Which it is now at. And uh, the reason we had to do such a convoluted method of it is because Cerrito closed that pipe. So we had to find another way of getting um, the steam that we need. If it's too much, the balloon won't inflate. If it's too little, the balloon won't inflate. Now I get to watch the ship inflate. Yay! Just about ready to go on an airship, Jolteon? Yes. Yeah. Um, as we were saying earlier, what's really unique about Exile is that at the end of all the ages, you get like a ride to the beginning of the level. And at the start of all the ages, you get like a welcome theme. This is why I love Exile so much. So, if we go back, we have to go back down that elevator again. Which is powered by the, uh, waterfall windmill thingy. Which is powered by, I don't know, powered by windows. No, just kidding. If everything here were powered by windows, you get a lot more blue screening. Now, if everything were powered... If, we're, if we're, everything were powered by Macintosh, you would get a bunch of random kernel panics every time you tried to turn something on. 